So day four was hiking out of Wendigo along the Manong Trail, and uh, it's uh, it's really exposed, and it's pretty slow because you have to follow rock cairns. And uh, I was going to go a lot further than I did, but I ran into three gals headed for Lake Desor about here, and they said they'd stayed here at Little Todd campground and uh, I'd have it pretty much to myself and that sounded pretty good. So if you hike this side of the island, you see a lot less people, a lot less pressure on campgrounds and uh, there were people at Little Todd, but I got a site there and it was just beautiful right on the lake. I'm glad I stopped there and it made, uh, you know, it's still a pretty long day because again, the Manong is slower because a lot of rock cairns, you have to find rock cairns to find your way. Uh, but when it drops down into the woods, it's a really good trail. So, good morning. I'm at the Wendigo store, which doesn't open for another hour. I haven't found the visitor center yet, but I think there's one here. Let's see what the weather is today. Looks like we've got some maybe rain coming in. And then I gotta decide which way I'm going back, Wendigo, Greenstone, or the Manong. Hey buddy. Don't poop on the roof. Okay, so here's the plan. I'm going back toward Rock Harbor on the Manong Trail. I just asked the ranger at the visitor center if it was as nasty as the Siskiwit Bay to Wendigo Trail, and he said no, but I mean, I've been across it a few times. I know it's high and it's exposed, and we're getting a lot of sun. I just wasted two good early morning walking hours waiting for the store to open so I could get a shower token. I just thought I'd take a nice hot shower in my clothes, get some of the stink off me. But uh, a shower is $7 for five minutes. <laughs> I've told you, I'm not cheap, I'm just frugal. So I'll just find another lake to jump in, do the same thing. Anyway, we'll see what the Monongs like today. Hopefully it's supposed to cool down. I'm hoping today is going to be much cooler. Otherwise it could be kind of nasty up there. But yesterday was the worst, just coming through all that high growth. Um, at least up on an exposed ridge I won't have to deal with all that. So I just got a liter and a half of water at this little creek here. Maybe a spring, I'm not sure what it is, but it's nice cold. Once I get up on the Manong, I mean I'm on the Manong now, but once I get up on the ridge, there's not gonna be that many water choices. So I just wanted to make sure I had a liter and a half to get started with. There are a couple lakes to soar and hatch it. I can go down to and get water. And if I remember right, there were a couple of creeks crossing up here too. So I think I'll be fine for water, but it's gonna be a hot day. So just wanna be sure. So I just stopped to make some protein mix. Keep me moving today. Sun's coming out, it's getting hot, but I've got my umbrella, so. When I'm up top, I put that up and keep that sun off me. So it's a 23-mile day to Todd Harbor. I think that's what I'm shooting for tonight. 
and then I'll cross the Greenstone, go to McCargo Cove, back through West Chicken Bone, up and over down to Mosky Basin, and then to Rock Harbor, end of the week. Just saw a cow and a calf, but they took off. They must have thought I was a wolf. <laughs> the bulls, they just look at me. But Mama and the baby, they ran like the wind. Had to stop and let the dogs out. Always feels good to let my feet breathe for 10 minutes, 15 minutes in the afternoon. Put them back in your shoes and they're comfortable again. <laughs> they need some oxygen. Not much... Uh, Traffic, no traffic on the Menong Trail today. Most people that are going east-west use the green stone. But this really isn't a bad trail. Everybody says it's rough, but it's a whole lot better from uh, the trail I was on yesterday from Siskiwit Bay to Feldman Lake all the way to Wendigo. I mean, there were some good sections. There were some high sections where there was a fire tower or whatever that tower is up there um, on the point. But most of it's low, high vegetation, pretty miserable. This trail, I mean, you hit the, the exposed rock areas, but a lot of it's down here in the forest, and it's good tread. Not that rocky, not that rooty. Some of the better trail I've been on, really. So I think the Manong gets a bad reputation. So, change of plans. You're probably thinking, boy, this guy changes plans a lot. The reason is because I can. <laughs> and I really came out here just to kind of wander. I've been out to this island, this park, many times. and But I haven't been at this campsite. So I ran into three gals up on the Menong who 
Stayed here last night, said they're here all by themselves, which sounded good to me. And part of the reason is the Minong is not that well traveled, and this is 15, 20 minutes north off the trail down to the lake. And there are some other people here tonight, but it'll be quiet. Might have some rain coming in, sprinkling right now. But uh, I think to in the morning, instead of going all the way to Macargo Bay and around to West Chicken Bone again, I'm going to cut across to Hatchet Lake, go back up on the Greenstone, and then go down to uh, Mosky Basin. So I've been coming out here forever. Never even heard a wolf howl, and everybody I'm talking to has seen a wolf either at Mosky or Daisy Farm. So I'm going to hit both those places on the way back and see if I can see a wolf. I'm assuming because everybody's seen him around those campgrounds, he's uh, habituated. So he's probably not going to last long in that mode, but I'd still like to see him.